My name's uh, Tony Amberg. I am president and CEO of Los Andes Copper Limited. I'm a geologist with 30 years of experience. I've worked with um, Anglo-American, Rio Tinto. I've worked in South Africa, in Kazakhstan, um, South America, and for the last 15 years I've been working in Chile. Los Andes Copper have a one project, which is the Vizcachitas Copper Molly Porphyry project in central Chile. It is probably the largest um, copper project in South America that is 100% controlled by a junior company. There are some larger projects out there in South America, but they've already been taken by majors or large companies. It has a resource estimate of 1 billion tons and 38 million tons, um, uh, running 0.43 copper equivalent, so a very large project. Uh, we've got a PEA published on that project, demonstrating that it's got robust economics, and we used uh, $2.75 for the, that um, study. Uh, we are 150 kilometers from the capital of Chile, Santiago. We there, and there are 70 miles to the north of us. You've got the um, Antofagasta Minerals Palambres project, and 70 kilometers to the south of us, you've got the Codelco and Anglo American projects of Andina and Los Bronces. So, all of infrastructure that's associated with them, the power lines, the railways, are all very close to the project. So. Um, we, you know, when the project's taken through to development, a lot of the infrastructure is um, located nearby, and the ports, it, the ports are within 150 kilometers of the project. So it's a very good location with good infrastructure. I think it's in very exciting times for us now because last year, for the first time in 30 years, um, the the Vizca Cheetahs projects, all the mine claim holdings were consolidated under Los Andes Copper. So now for the first time you've got all the whole projects beneath one company. Uh, we've got um, the reason to invest now would be that we've got some two drill rigs on site. We're going to be drilling the extensions to the good mineralization that we've got in the north which hasn't been drilled for a long time. So we're now drilling to the north of the project and I think we'll be seeing some interesting drill results coming out there from this drilling, which will be running from now through to the end of the year. Well, as I was saying, we've got two drill rigs on site. We are drilling 5,000 meters of drilling. Um, that will be finishing at the end of this year. We will then take those results f into a updated resource estimate, which we'll be publishing in the first quarter of 2016. That resource model we will then take into a new an updated preliminary economic assessment which we'll publish in 2016. And I think it's going to be, that's going to be an interesting, that will be an interesting um, document because not only are we going to look at um, the sort of mega case, this 176,000 ton type project, you know, world class project, we're also going to look at a, a smaller case with 40 to 50,000 tons per day, maybe similar to something like the Constanza that's being built at the present, where um, the capital investment is not as large as the mega case, but we believe that uh, this drilling now, but we're drilling into the high grade core and to the north of the project, you will be able to uh, selectively mine uh, the higher grade areas of the project, say in the first five years, that you'd feed into the plant. They're not the easy times at present. The last few months have been very difficult with the metal prices and investor confidence. But it is cyclical. It, everyone knows that you know it is very cyclical. Copper is a real commodity that has been used, and as some of the mines slow down and shut down, the, the price will start to recover. When no one knows. But and I think the advice, my advice, is to when you're trying to identify companies, where do you put your money now? Is to identify solid companies that have got a real project that. You know, when the copper price starts to recover, you, the, the, the project could either, if it's a development project, could be developed with those prices. And I believe that uh, the Los Andes, the Vizca Cheetahs project is, is such a project. Mm -hmm.